As the world population continues to grow, more food is needed and nature can't keep up. Our oceans are being depleted of marine life as people consume more and more fish. So how can we meet the growing demand for fish in a sustainable way? Dr. Nisim Khan is the founder of the Israeli startup Aquinovo, and he says he has a solution. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So what does Aquinovo do? Tell us about this. Um, we develop growth enhancers for farmed fish, technology that was uh, invented at the Hebrew University and licensed to the company on a worldwide exclusive basis. It contains uh, materials that uh, inhibit puberty and therefore channels the energy of the fish towards growth. So basically, this will be sold to feed uh, producers that will sell premium feed to the fish growers that will be able to give this feed for a certain period of time before or during puberty onset uh, to reduce time to market and, and reduce, of course, production cost. You know, for all the people who are worried and concerned about animal rights, you know, is this animal cruelty in any way? None in any way. Actually, if you compare it, you cannot compare it to those methods where you actually force animals to eat or, or something like that. Basically, what we do is we influence certain um, metabolic pathway in the fish that cause them to grow, uh, to grow faster without any suffer or any change of physiological uh, conditions or feelings. So, you know, how did you come up with this idea? Well, it was basically invented at the Hebrew University by a researcher that is uh, expert in the production of fish, Professor Beta Levavi Sivan, together with a world-renowned chemist, Professor Chaim Gilon, who were working on fish reproduction system and found out several crucial important uh, elements in this, in this system in which you can actually either turn off or on and therefore influence puberty. And once they design those materials, we take it to the next step to uh, market need and, and actually addressing the need, which as you said correctly, the need for fish and yield is the name of the game. And enhancing yield, that's what we do. Is your, is your solution already being used? If so, where? Well, it's in development at the moment. We, we are a young company that was established uh, back in September 2015. We are developing the technology now and we expect to have product in the market for tilapia which is one of the, of the big uh, uh, section, section of, uh, of farmed fish uh, by about 2020. Interesting. So we have this picture here, actually. Um, you know, this is a control group of fish, obviously, yeah. and these are fed with yeah, here uh, we your can solution. See, yeah, exactly. Here we can see an experiment that was done in the lab where fish that were given our materials versus, versus fish that were not given the materials have shown about 25% enhanced growth versus uh, each other. Uh, it's a big deal. It you can, is you a can big really deal. see the difference here. It makes it a lot easier to understand. I, so, yeah. you know, what are your goals for the future? You have this technology um, or solution. Where do you want your research to be headed? Well, we have data for tilapia. Those are the fish that you saw now on the screen. But since the uh, mechanism or the biological system exists in all fin fish, we see uh, as a target all, all the fin fish that are used for human consumption. Beyond that, we would like to leverage on our biotech expertise and our ability to commercialize technologies in order to go to another level of really uh, meeting additional challenges of the aquaculture industry that, as you correctly said, it's a growing industry with a lot of demand and a lot of evolving challenges. Well, you know, it's great to hear that you guys have created the solution and I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you very much.